hey guys welcome back to the tutorial and if you're new a special welcome to you now guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to clear the host cache in google chrome right same thing known as the dns cache now why is this useful there are times when you use chrome and you realize that you're trying to access a website and it's loading slow and by clearing the host cache or the dns cache this can easily help you to have chrome working faster loading your website faster and so forth and that's why in today's video i'm going to show you step by step how to clear the host cache in chrome so go ahead and open up your chrome browser here right and then within the search here or the address bar you you want to type in this address here right just simple type chrome colon forward slash forward slash net dash internals forward slash hashtag dns right and simply it enter you'll be able to find this within the description of this video as well now once you're here all you have to do is just simply click host resolver cache clear this host cache and that's all there is to it now once you do that just go ahead and close out your google chrome open it again and try to access your website again if you're still having problems just simply go ahead and right click and these three dots on the top right hand side and simply go to help then go to about google chrome and ensure that your google chrome is fully updated now once google chrome is updated guys all you have to do is just simply relaunch your google chrome so simple close out and open out google chrome once again and try accessing your website and in a nutshell that should really do the trick and fix the issue for you now guys i really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below i'd really appreciate that and if you're seeing the channel for the first time welcome to drew tutorial i'm anjo and i really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when i release another helpful tutorial just like this one thank you very much and see you next time